Hi, this is Pam Johnson with another Resident Pearl presentation. Today's presentation is, when do I need a delayed acquisition? The answer, not often. Delayed acquisitions are no longer indicated for routine abdominal imaging just to watch the kidneys excrete contrast. We used to do this in the old days. Today, we are concerned about radiation exposure and we have to limit our acquisitions. They have to be tailored to the clinical indications. So, we do not perform these routinely just in patients with abdominal pain. When do we perform them? The delayed acquisition is part of the CT urogram. Here at Hopkins, we use a five minute delay as the final acquisition in patients with hematuria um, or renal collecting system pathology. A delayed acquisition is excellent for pyelonephritis, but you do not need it in addition to a venous acquisition. It, is, uh, it should either be venous or delayed phase. The delayed acquisition is part of the adrenal mass washout protocol. We use a 15 minute delay here at Hopkins. And some in some places, if a patient is suspected to have a patocellular carcinoma, in addition to arterial and venous phase imaging, delayed acquisitions are performed because there are a small percentage of hepatocellular carcinomas that are only seen on late phase imaging. So let's talk quickly about pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis can be diagnosed on the corticomedullary acquisition. You will, you will see, if you look carefully at the cortex, a segment of diminished enhancement within the renal cortex. You have to sort of follow the cortex around the perimeter of the kidney. But it can be very subtle on the early phase imaging. It's seen best on delayed phase. It's seen better on the venous phase than on corticomedullary. But on the delayed phase, we really see the bands of decreased enhancement very well, as shown in the image on the right. If we had to select one phase to image polynephritis, it would be best seen on the delayed phase. But this is not practical. I think in most cases, we're looking at a venous phase in a patient with abdominal pain. And we should see it, the pathology very well on the venous phase. The delayed acquisition is part of the adrenal mass washout protocol. We do a pre-contrast study. If the density is 10 Hounsfield units or less, then we're finished imaging because this lesion is an adrenal adenoma, it's less, uh, specifically for lesions less than four centimeters in size. Then we do a venous phase at 60 seconds. The literature shows that this is when adenomas peak in enhancement at 60 seconds. We uh, will subsequently perform a 15 minute delayed phase and then we do our washout calculation really important to remember that you cannot perform washout calculations unless you have venous and delayed. It should not be performed with the arterial and delayed phase. The washout timing is based on a number of articles that were published in the literature and I think 15 minutes is used widely based on these original papers that made comparison of different timing. Recently there was a paper in radiology where they evaluated a 10 minute delay. To, they revisited this timing and they found that the sensitivity for the RPW and the APW were not as high as they were with a 15 minute delay. So we stick with the 15 minute delay. We think it's optimal for characterizing the washout patterns of these lesions. As we remember, most adenomas are lipid rich. They have a low density on the pre-contrast scan, but whether they're lipid rich or lipid poor, as in this case, where the pre-contrast density is 24 Hounsford units, adenomas take up contrast quickly and then wash out quickly from the venous to the delayed acquisition. Okay, that's all for now. The next topic that I will present is when do I have to perform a gated chest CT?